Before applying any herbicide, it's always important to understand how the products work and where they have to go to do their job. In the case of fall applied group 14 and 15 modes of action, they work in the soil and they do their job by controlling weeds uh, prior to their emergence. They don't actually have foliar activity. So job number one is reaching the soil and the number one barrier in the, in the fall is of course the residue remaining from harvest. So straw spread is essential. If you have been able to achieve that with your spreader, uh, do consider a heavy harrow application to even out the, the residue. In terms of application parameters, probably water volume is the number one uh, tool that you have and more water is usually better for getting through more trash. So a minimum of about 10 gallons per acre is appropriate for products like Valterra and Fierce. Make the assessment based on your individual residue levels. Traditionally, some of these products like Group 14s also have foliar activity and we've been told to uh, use finer sprays for good coverage. This is not the case here. Fall applied products are distributed to this in the soil with moisture from spring melt or precipitation and the actual droplet size in which they arrive at that soil is not that important. That's actually a good thing. We can apply a coarser spray, a low drift spray, open up some hours during the day that we can spray in even under windier conditions. One thing that does happen in the fall is that we may have additional weed growth uh, after harvest prior to the, this late fall application that happens just prior to freeze up. And that uh, weed growth can result in significant interception of the spray, preventing it again from reaching the soil. Those, pro those plants, uh, including volunteers, should be removed. So that's it in summary. Uh, we want to make sure our trash, resid our, our trash management is good, maybe a heavy harrow is, is necessary. Uh, use adequate water volumes, a minimum 10 gallons per acre. Uh, you can use low drift sprays quite coarse and even spray under slightly windier conditions. And make sure you remove other plant materials uh, that may have grown uh, since harvest that might prevent it from reaching the soil.